Welcome back to High Now Daily. There's a little break in the rain, so it's very exciting. I've got Chauncey Monden here, who is a fourth generation farmer. Thank you so much for having me. So Chauncey, can you tell me about the history of your farm? Fourth generation, that's amazing. Yeah, we're, um, we've been here a while. We've, we've farmed all over Kula. Um, my great, great grandparents and my grandparents and my dad. Uh, right now we're, we're leasing land from Kanaolu Ranch and uh, we have some land of our own that we're farming up on higher elevations. We grow uh, strawberries, blueberries, we have an annual pumpkin patch and um, we do some squashes and other things. But wow. we used to grow a lot of different crops but right now we're just doing focusing on strawberries, blueberries and pumpkin. And it looks like you have strawberries galore. Can you yeah. tell me about where we are right now? This right. is so cool. You're in our U pick, which uh -huh. opens on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Okay. And um, the public can come in and pick and take it to the stand and weigh it and uh, pay for it. It's, it's kind of one of our uh, projects is to help educate the children of Maui and you know whoever comes on how plants grow. And this is a great way for a kid to learn how a strawberry plants grow and kind of just get, get dirty and, you know, kind of feel, feel some farming. Yes, and that education is so important, especially, you know, the Department of Agriculture is having a huge push right now to just increase the local production and sale of, of specialty crops here in Hawaii. Yeah. So can you tell me about how, how this is, you know, really important to that mission as well? Yeah, I think, um, you know, supporting local agriculture and, and increasing the different uh, types of crop we grow here. We have so many different elevations on all of our islands that you can grow almost anything. And uh, if we can just get people to buy local, uh, sometimes it costs a little more, but you're keeping the island sustainable. And um, in times of food shortages, we only have what we have. And we need to increase the amount of farmers and ranchers and people growing food products here locally. So in case something ever happens, we have food on the island. Yeah, that is so important. Well, thank you so much for being part of that amazing mission. Well, thanks for coming up and uh, checking us out. Yeah. So, okay, now I want to be part of the education process. How do you know which ones are good to pick? Okay, Tell me. You, well, you want to pick a red one. Oh, okay, there we go. We'll start there. We'll start with now, color. What you want to do is you want to okay. put it between your fingers, uh -huh. cradle it, and then rock it back and forth. Oh, like you so go little, like that, okay. and then you don't bruise the fruit. Oh, expert. Oh wait, I don't know how you did. You made that. Oh no! I will try again. I'm gonna try again, guys. I promise I'm gonna get this right. Okay, so we're here. Yeah. Put we it between it, and then just rock, rock it, it back and forth, and then. Yeah, you can yank on it, don't you? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, there. There we go. There we have it. I am farming strawberries right here, and so they they can go all all day long if they want to. The demand is we need a bigger field because sometimes by lunchtime it's all the red ones are gone. Yeah. That's why we pick on Tuesdays and Saturdays to give the plants a chance to um, to get red again. If not, the kids are coming out with all green berries. <laughs> and do, will they ripen later? Or? No, 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 no. You, you, you gotta wait till it's red, folks. And so, you know, that once they bring it, they can just go weigh it and yep, then buy their strawberries? And then buy it. We got tons of fresh produce in there that you can buy that's locally grown. Wow, wow, what a what a special special experience. So if they want to book, where do they go? Or just be here? Oh, just come on up to um, 6420 Kula Highway. All right. right. Across from Rice Park. Come on up, it's that easy. We're right here at Kula Country Farm. Thank you so much for the experience. I'm gonna keep picking. Well, you're watching High Now Daily and we'll be right back.